What is the best A-class ship? The Star Eagle from Free Star Rangers questline is a good answer. But how about we build a ship that can take on a whole UC armada and doesn't even need shields to do it? A ship with great weapons, over 5,000 hull health, a ship with all workshops and crew space, the biggest ship you can build at maximum part limit, a ship that also utilizes an exploit to get hit less, and it only costs 300,000 credits. I present you the Edge Lord. I suppose we should probably take a look inside first, then I'll show you how to build one. With this build, I try to emphasize the scale of a ship. I think I managed it, to some degree at least. Let's call this the first floor, and let's move on from then on. As you're entering the ship on the second floor, we have living quarters. One detail I like to put in is the window. Ah, oh, you can see the wings of it. It's just so nice to see the whole ship from one vantage point. Third floor, engineering. As you're approaching some of the windows, you can see underneath the expansive wings. It's such a cool, unintentional detail. Now, as for the room itself, it's engineering. Ultimately, it's just a space saver. Probably for thematic purposes, I should have swapped it around with the living quarters, but regardless. Moving on. Fourth floor, infirmary. Out of the window you can see a full expansive look on the wing itself, and the room also serves a purpose. Next up, engineering. Now this room definitely has some utility, though the problem with the ladders uh, rears its head here. On one end you're entering, the other one you're continuing on up top. And boy, we have a long ways to go, so let's move on. Above the workshop we have a wonderful look outside as well, and here's the cockpit, or bridge as it's called. Sari's cockpit in my opinion is the best one, mostly because of the vision outside of it, and of course the visual appeal as well. Unlike the Star Eagle's cockpit, you are not feeling like you're cramped inside a tin box. You have a vision left, right, and even downwards, including also a little bit back if you head to the back of the cockpit. Right, there's more. The floor above a cockpit is just a simple room, and above that is the captain's quarters. With a wonderful, full-encompassing view outside. Ah, wonderful! And that's basically the Edgelord. Now, let's take a look on how to build it. Alright then, well building took uh, a bit of work, frustration and loads of tries, but here's the result. The basic structure of the ship, as you might have guessed from the interior, consists of what I would call central spine. Since the ship is as long as possible in every dimension, first I decided to have docking port at the top, which is where the idea for the spine came from. For the cockpit, there is no better one than Ares Bridge. This one you can find in Deimos Shipyard specifically, while the rest of the parts I picked up on Mars. The clear vision out of the bridge is fantastic, being able to see the whole ship is just the biggest benefit of this build. For grab drive, I picked up the best I could, and since it's 28 light years, that's all you'll ever need, and it's perfect. However, as with the reactor, you will need Starship design skill in order to equip at least some of these parts. As for the cargo, well, I didn't add anything because, well, your character can carry infinite amount and there's barely any penalty for it, so I didn't feel the need to add any. Weapon-wise, well, I'm a fan of proton beams, so two sets of three beam weapons offer a lot of damage, but at a steep cost for a reactor. As for the engines, well, anything will really go, but since I got access to some really good stuff, might as well throw those in. And as long as mobility is 100, it's fine. So, why no shields? Well, you can equip it, and I tried it out, but as long as you pop shield repair kits, this ship literally can take tens of ships attacking it, partially due to the exploit in the design, so what more do you need? Oh, and if you didn't know, Starfield's AI is pretty, well, let's be frank here, really dumb, and they will aim at the center of the mass of your ship, which is why my Edgelord looks so funky. 
sure you do get hit and the design could be further optimized like say the student loan number three but this is just more fun and pretty much everything else is just added for flair and coziness like the windows oh and the paint job well it's just to represent latvia my home so there you have it the best a-class ship you can make with no expense spared and of course the base build of the ship can be a lot cheaper but that wouldn't make it as cool now would it so, as always, if this is something that interested you or you enjoyed, do check out the Patreon to support the content I make and join the Discords and maybe share your abominations and let me know. What else would you like to see me build?